good morning good afternoon welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you how to make an accordion book i did make accordion books from recycling um instant soup packets the box i cut open and then the packets i also cut on the bottom and on one side and this is now for collaging and then you can use it for if you travel and so on and yeah so that is the accordion book but the video that i made the sound was um off because the i've got a, a microphone that's got a battery in and the battery went flat while i was busy doing it yeah so i'm gonna just show you how to make the accordion book and i'm gonna make it with a twist this time so if you want to see how i made this from the soup packets you can go see the videos on that and but i'm gonna do this and hopefully the sound will be perfect today so today's one is going to be made from recycled materials this is a box i got um canvas in and so i just cut two pieces for the front and the back and this is one of the food package packages um the frozen foods and i'm gonna make a pocket in the front and in the back and there's another pocket i just cut a paper bag the right size as the front cover and so on and yeah so i'm just putting a piece of tape on this side and so that is going to be at the back so and then you need to make two hinges you can stick this on top of the cover if you want to and but i'm not going to do it because maybe it will work let me just see maybe it will give it some stability um no i'm not going to do that i'm going to do it as an inch okay so that was now thinking okay let's just see the inch is going to go there i'm just going to put that aside okay so let's just see you can do it that way and i think i'm gonna do it that way yes okay um first i'm gonna just put it on the box itself I hope you can see today it's a bit overcast here and yeah let me just see i want to actually use that at the bottom that part there and if you want to you can put tape there as well you know if you want to just make it more stable which i might do Oh, no wait let me just finish this okay let's see i want the bag there see on the top it is a bit bigger but it doesn't matter if you want to you can cut it i'm gonna just use the glue you can always do tape it afterwards you know just want the back a bit to the side this i think i'm gonna use the tape i'm just gonna put more glue as well yeah so and then um i coffee dyed some papers 
and I'm going to use that because I haven't got instant soup anymore. I have to go buy. Okay, so then I'm going to just make a book from the coffee paper. But it's the same method. So if you want to recycle any packages or so, then you can. See, now your, your hinge is now there. Let me just clean that glue. And you can tape it on this side as well. And I think I'm going to do that just to strengthen that. So there is our pocket and now you can put papers in that you want to use for collage and, and on this packet you can also put um, pockets for smaller things and what I might do is I might do an envelope on this and then it's easy to put some uh, pictures and whatever you want to collage. So because this is now, if you go travel, then you take this little book with you. If you don't want to cart your whole... Okay, let's just see. I want to use this inside for the collage. So it's easier to just do it like that. And then you can use as many papers as you want. You know, I if you want to have a thick book, then you can. If you just want a few pages, that's also good. Okay, so now you want to just see where you want this. I think I want it in the middle-ish. See that? I just need to cut this off here. The little piece of tape. You can just put the tape on top of there. Okay. Um... Okay, it is a bit slippery. And then just take your bone folder or whatever you've got close by and just do that. Yeah, see, now there's our first page. Awesome. Okay, oh, I got you. Now, let's do the rest. You're welcome to do this with me. Or you can just watch what I do. And yeah, because for me, I actually love making these accordion books now. Oh, the other day, I um, put the tape over here without putting the next page. That was quite funny. Okay, let me see. I want all the corn sides on one side. Let me just see. I want it. Okay, you want this as straight as possible. Because otherwise your accordion book is going to be lopsided. It doesn't need to be perfect. But I just want it neat. Okay, and see. There we're growing. Oh, lacquer. Okay. 
Yeah, I didn't know because it's summer here now, so we don't eat. I don't eat so much soup at the moment. So yeah, it was a bit weird. See now, you just want to see that that is now straight on that side. See what I mean if you want this now because now if you want to you can paint now on this there's your pocket you can collage on this pocket here and now you're gonna just if you want to make it one long art piece then you can but I'm gonna use this as um, toppers for my journal so I want to cut it so I'm gonna make a picture here and then a picture and so on but otherwise you can do it as a you know just one flowing piece of art and then you can also do that just put it in um, a frame later you know the smaller pieces yeah okay so let's carry on and I think because of this thicker cardboard I can use more paper because the other book my um, instant soup packets is for collaging and because I'm using the coffee dye paper I can now paint on it as well like mixed media so you put it on that side so you can see it's a straight as I say straight-ish <laughs> yeah I hope you can hear me and yeah because the I see I did now a few lives but I see it if you go watch it again it it's very weird you know it's breaking up and so I decided I'm just gonna do a video and then I'll just edit it because I only got my cell phone with me now because my computer is not working at the moment But nothing stops us from doing what we love best, and that is to create. See, if you wanted this now to be a collage book, then you could um, use the other side, you know, this side, the inside we because this is recycled paper because my one friend she owns a photocopy, a photocopy shop and I got this paper from her this is her paper that she would have sent to the recycling so I am doing it on this which I am very happy about I'm just going to count the papers now yeah, I think I can get more paper in here and then I can't remember the lady's name but she made um, cigarette uh, boxes you know matchbox the same idea as this which you can then use for your snippets and so on and so that was a very good idea I think small little things that you can just take with you on your travels you can just cut it afterwards you know make it straight as you want it yeah. Oh. 
Now later I will go to the shops and get a new battery. So because I wanted to have a microphone for so long and then I got that one. It's still not perfect but it is better than what I'm doing at the moment. I just hope it's okay that you can hear me and there's no measurements because this you can um, make as big or as small as you want. I did make a art accordion book as well, a mixed media art book. But that one, I made it the same days, the days that, um, those videos. And so none of them got sound. I love watching other people's videos without sound. For me, it's very calming. But if you want to now hear the sizes and what materials they use, then that is a problem. Okay, let's just count this quickly as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, ten, twelve. I actually love the, you know, thirteen. And, but in any case, so let's see. I'm just going to put all these papers. Because I feel that is what I want for my book at the moment. You don't have to paint in the whole book. You can do some mixed media. You can use it as a journaling page. Look at this beautiful paper, beautiful. Yeah, my first batch of coffee was very weak. So I just went over again with a stronger coffee. And yeah, I just spat it over the weaker coffee. Oh my goodness, I must tell you this. I tried again to do echo dyeing. Because I'm looking, I'm I was sitting for a friend of mine, and she's got the most beautiful garden, and all these leaves and flowers is looking at me, and I thought, let me just go see if I can do it, and it it is not even close to what Gail and they, the rest of the ladies is doing. You can hardly see my um, leaves and so on, so that was very disappointing. But in any case, the paper did color, like a purplish color, so I am happy about that. So at least I can use that paper for collaging and so on, you know. Okay, so there is our book almost done. See, there's the front page. And there's our pocket. And then, and you can use it the other way around as well, if you want to use it as a collage rather. So it's up to you. And yeah, so this is going to be my front cover. I will decorate it. And so now this is the back cover. And so where is my other piece of... Oh, um, I'm looking for my other hinge, the hinge disappeared, I found it, okay. so just gonna make a hinge with this, a bit more glue this time, because this one is very bumpy, okay, I'm just gonna put glue on this side as well. And then I fold it in half. 
but now you can put the other paper you the, the other part here so you can make it the same level because you don't want to go and make the one smaller than the other okay so that is now ready I'm just going to take my scissors and go in there. If you got something like this that's very bumpy, take the iron and just iron this flat. Because it might make your life a bit easier. Okay, so I am going to put tape on this one. This tape is not very sticky. Just wipe the extra excess glue off. And then I will be using, let me see, this side. I haven't got my wet cloth with me at the moment. Okay. If you're going to use this as a collage on this, then you can, you don't have to put the tape there, but I am going to put the tape there. Just a little bit of more glue there. Okay, so and then the pockets you want it both to open on that side, you know, like that. And now you're going to put your tape again on the last page. if the pocket is clear and then I don't know what about you, but this looks absolutely perfect. So you can see it's a bit bigger on this side, doesn't matter. And see now what you can do is now this front page and the back page you can also decorate and then you can use that as a journal cover later. Okay, 
need so there is our pocket and our accordion book I hope you enjoyed it I hope you're gonna make one with me and if you've got a better idea how to do this then let me know I love these pages and you can also use this as a mark making page you know if you just want to sit and work with a pen make marks and so that is also an excellent idea and yeah so I'm just gonna see this page um, I might be doing a hinge rather let's just see quickly I'm just gonna take that off no I'm not okay. I've got an extra hinge here let me just see if it will work better as a hinged page um, let's just see if it works yeah, this is a bit of a struggle now I should have just left it like that but in any case we did I did change it now so let's carry on let's see okay much better okay you can see now this part is a bit bigger you can I can cut it if I want to but I am not sure if I want to okay. so there's our accordion book now finished and I think it is working better with that hinge that I put there at the end now Just glue that in there as well. Okay. 
let's just do it quickly you don't have to but um yeah because if i collage on it then it's fine but if i want to use it as a paint then i don't have to do it because then i can just tear it off yeah okay i hope you enjoyed it and yeah so there's our pocket and there's our other pocket where you can put now your papers in you know like that for collaging Okay. Okay. and see what i mean is you can make a belly band if you've got longer things on here or you can make pockets okay it's up to you i hope you enjoyed it and have an amazing day see you soon bye bye yeah.